This is the EOS calculator. It was made in Switzerland from about 1927 to 1929 and it is quite a rare machine. It's identical to the Hanovera CK which was made in Germany. Hanovera was a company set up by Albert Schubode who had worked at Brunsvige and he set it up in 1922 and started making pinwheel machines but after some patent disputes with Brunsvige he came up with this mechanism which is an oscillating segment mechanism. He did this to evade the patents of Brunsvige but also uh, to make a mechanism that's easier to manu manufacture. It doesn't have the uh, precision machine parts that a pinwheel uh, has. And uh, yeah, so he made the uh, Hanovera CK in 1926 for a few years, and I think the EOS is a licensed copy for the Swiss market. The company EOS that was later bought in, you know, I think 1934 by Hans Egli, who made the uh, MADAS machines. So, uh, yeah, the uh, oscillating segments mechanism in this machine, it's a little bit like the DEMOS, that was also made in Switzerland, but um, this one is a bit better, because you can use it in exactly the same way as a pinwheel machine. You have these input pins, the input register, uh, so I've now entered a number, and when you turn the crank that gets added to the main register. The input is, was cleared now, but if I pull out this knob here, then the input will, will remain. You'll notice that the input pins move up when you turn the crank, uh, when the addition happens, and then move downwards again afterwards. Now that's the oscillating motion of the uh, toothed segments, because each input pin moves a toothed segment, and when you turn the crank, the register dips forward to engage with that, uh, those input segments. They get added, and then the register moves back and the carries are performed. Subtraction is just turning the crank the opposite direction like a pinwheel machine. And yeah, it does the same thing. It dips, the register dips forward and it subtracts these numbers and it moves back and does the carries. The counter is very simple, there is no carry mechanism in here. So when you, uh, so I'll clear this, so when you do a subtraction the wheel simply turns the opposite way, way and shows uh, red digits to indicate a subtraction. To clear the main register you turn this knob. This is not the original knob, it should be a, a small crank like this. Uh, but uh, yeah, this machine has had some restoration done. Like uh, this side panel should be metal but it's been replaced at some point and the rubber feet have been replaced as well. I think most of the rest is original. So yeah, you uh, have this uh, carriage that contains the input uh, register. On a normal pinwheel machine uh, the carriage contains the counter and the main register uh, and the input register then stays in a fixed position but on this machine it's the input register that moves. Go on. There we go. And here you see how far it's moved. Now that the 
input register is moved sideways, you can see this bar here, which is uh, the thing that moves upwards to move the uh, input uh, toothed segments. And it does this oscillating, mo oscillating motion. As I said, this is a very rare machine. The Hanovera CK, I think only about uh, three or four thousand were made of those, but of the EOS, the Swiss version, only about a thousand. The uh, serial number on my machine here is uh, 20,994. The numbering started at 20,000, so this is one of the last ones made. You see this, uh, yeah, this metal bit at the front. Uh, some versions of both the Hanovera and the EOS have uh, simply a, a small crank here to move the input carriage, similar to this crank. And uh, yeah, that must have been a, a cheaper option. This. Uh, this knob to move the carriage is, is a lot better. And uh, yeah, they didn't uh, change the case, they just plugged up the hole where the, uh, the crank would have been. So, this is the uh, EOS calculator. Thank you for watching.